Hello all, Elite DSP here. Today I'm bringing you guys a new series that I'm calling Armchair Rifting. Some of the most common questions that I see on my comments and on the forums are, so you, you give me the spec and you give me the gear, but how do I play it? Now that these come in different flavors, like when do you drag elites? When do you move on to the next pack? When do you skip packs? So I thought the best way to answer all these questions was to do it in real time, and then explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I came up with the idea for armchair rifting, kind of like armchair quarterbacking in football. Hindsight's 2020, so I'll be able to see what I've done. I know why I've done it, and I'll tell you what I've done right and what I've done wrong. I'll give you guys some insight into how the game is played. The plan is to put out a new episode each week, and to go through a high level grader of clear on each episode. Today, I'm going through a grader of 39, and I plan to go through some of my greater 40 clears, as well as anything higher that I manage to get through. I might also show you guys some of the attempts on 41s to through 43s that I've done, but that's all in the future. So let's talk about what I'm doing now. As you see, I've got two leap packs and a bunch of mobs that I'm pulling around. Both leap packs have thunderstorms, so I'm a little bit wary of trying to stay out of some damage. Once I get to the gates, I see that I can't really go any farther, so I stop. I, I try to kill what I can before opening that gate and having more mobs run through. I double back, seeing that some of the mobs haven't followed me, and there's a ton of progress here to be made up top. So I pronado, get those killed. All the while, I'm throwing haunts out. I've got my locust swarm spreading to everything. And I'm basically just trying to finish up this, this pack. Now here... I still have no idea what, what happened. I've, I've watched this part like five times through and honestly I have no idea how one maggot one shot me. So that happened and we're going to have a little run back. Finish up this maggot fiend and all the maggots. Give me a little more progress and then I'm going towards the door. get some dots out before I go through the door because they can't attack me but I can safely just spam my dots here I come up on another leap pack and I first off I check to see what affixes they have I do have to worry about that frozen pulse and the fact that they are bog and trappers and that those range attacks do a lot of damage so I try to lock them down real quick get some dots out and I'm looking to pull some more mobs keep that those bog and trappers out of range of me of attacking while I'm looking for more, some more stuff. Run back in, I got my Soul Harvest up again. Soul Harvest doesn't reset the cooldown on Soul Harvest, so I run back, try to give me some more space, try to keep them away from me. Come back in again, with my cooldowns back up, Soul Harvest, cooldowns come back up again. So I go back in again, Soul Harvest again. Now I should be looking to keep moving here, but unfortunately I, I'm thinking, okay, I want to kill this guy now. So, I stick around, kill him off, get my progress. I could have kept dragging him along, could have kept getting farther get, and saved a little time, but I didn't. Get my next pack, see what, what they have. Got another Thunderstorm set with Bog and Travers, so a little bit to worry about, not too bad. D d they don't have Jailer, so don't have to worry about that. Drag them along to the next pack trying to get multiple packs pulled together so that it's just dangerous enough that I'm staying ahead of the timer. So once I get a decent kill pack here, I'll turn around and then get all of them collected, get a few soul harvests off, and try to kill them all at once. The blue pack goes down, I still have that yellow pack, and again I'm, I'm staying here a little bit too long. This is arranged mob so it's it doesn't follow quite as well as if it were a melee mob so I, I waste a little bit of time not moving but I still get the progress to get the purple orbs see the vile bats they're quick kill so I just dot them real quick kill them looking for more stuff it's gotten to a slightly undense part, portion of the, uh, the rift and here's the door so, I go through, skip those bats, don't want to waste my time. Come up on the next floor, and I see we got bees and succubus, so there's quite a bit of range on this floor. 
still doable. The rest of these mobs aren't too strong. You got a few, a few archers there too, but for the most part, pretty easy mobs. I've come up on some corpse raisers, and I'm st extremely fearful of these guys. Their their pull that they do, it's instant damage, and not, nothing I can do about it unless I use my uh, spirit walk at that time. As well as they have jailer and frozen. These are all bad affixes. So I try to get as far away from them as, as I can while keeping them in range that they keep running towards me. Uh, the dots will whittle them down a little bit, and as I get a kill pack, I can come back in and kill them, reset my soul harvest and my spear walk, and then do it again, do it over and over again. But as you see, I'm, I'm far enough away from those corpse raisers so that they're not using their jail around me, which would one-shot me at this point but they're still close enough so that the dots keep ticking, and still close enough that I'm doing damage to them. Now I come down here, I figure there's usually some good mobs down here. Wasn't wrong. I got hit by one Jailer. I didn't die, luckily. So I'm, now I'm fearful, because they're close enough to Jailer me. I, I really want to either kill them or run past. Here I've chosen to kill, uh, which seems to work out in my favor. Get a whole bunch of the vile bats that spawn, get dots on everything, and then kill it off. Wait for my purple orbs to spawn and grab them and go. Let's see, now I, I wasn't dragging for these ones because I got a little scared, so there's a little run here. Come up on my next pack. It's pretty easy mobs. They do have frozen, so that hurts. I gotta stay out of that. They got illusionist, which kind of sucks, because for witch doc for jade witch doctors, whenever they split, they drop your dots. So you gotta reapply your dots on them. So that's always a pain. But the one nice thing is, whenever you kill them, it's free resets because the illusionist proc uh, the one second reset every time you kill one. Got some zombies here, which is always nice. They're easy. Uh, I try to lock down those terror demons because those things suck, and I kill them real quick. Do some more damage on that elite. Well, keep trying to drag him forward. What I'd really like to see here is another elite pack. I think here I've I've come to the realization that oh hey they're low. Let's finish them off. And I keep going. Again, the fact that I wasn't dragging that last leap pack into more mobs slowed me down a little bit because I didn't have those extra mobs to kill once I once I finished them. I had to just sit there and run. Ooh, I take a hit to the face. It drops my passive. There's a lot of range stuff here to dodge, so I'm a little fearful. I try try to get myself in that corner there, but then thunderstorm comes. I get hit by another thunderstorm and just poof, I'm dead. So. I'm going to skip through this death real quick. If you notice here, I've come down a different path that I skipped before. I figure this path will be a little bit better. Uh, it's quick and closer, so I'm getting to mobs sooner. So that's great for the progress. Come back on Corpse Razor, so I'm a little bit fearful. I'm trying to stay out of their range. Th that pull is really deadly. But they've now spawned their mobs, so it's safe to come back in, kill off some of those mobs, because it gives me resets on my spear walk. They just pack, proc my passive, so I'm a little fearful, but I think I can finish these guys off. When you get up to greater rifts, high, the higher greater rifts, you're mostly concerned about mitigating damage, because you might die like this. So I'll skip this guy, and dying's bad. It takes you more time to get back and it kind of kicks you out of your groove that you got going. So I come up to the next pack. Mobs, just a few mobs, so I finish them off real quick before heading through. See, so yeah, I've gotten back to the portion where I died the, the previous time. Uh, so there's not going to be too many mobs until I get through. Never mind, that's, that's the spot where everything's at. I see it, again, I'm fearful because I remember all the range damage and the 
the three thunderstorms that they can put out. And Jailer. They do have Jailer too. So yeah, these guys are pretty painful. All that unavoidable damage. So I run back. They have dots on them, they're close to death, so I see these mobs, I see this as a an excuse to come down here and do, do some damage. I do get hit by a jailer over the side. What I should have done was go farther in around the corner so that I could still hit up those mobs without risking that jailer hit. So I come back and notice there's only one guy, one elite left with like no health, so that was pretty unlucky I got hit at that, that time. I'm trying to drag these with me. They have quite a bit of health, so it is worth a lot of progress. And the boss spawns, so that's great. I see I've gotten the best boss I could possibly get, Stonesinger. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I've got this one. Only thing I have to worry about is staying away from that falling debris from the ceiling and hitting Soul Harvest on him on cooldown. Now if you notice, I only hit him with my Haunts and Locust Swarm once. After that I do about five Soul Harvests before I redot him, himself. And that's to keep that high damage uh, Haunt and Locust Swarm going. I did redot the the secondary spawn that he makes so that I can benefit from area damage on the, on the both of them. And I get one more dot right before my uh, Bane of the Powerful buff wears off to snapshot that damage. So yeah, here I'm further trying to dot up the extra mobs that he spawns. Again, to get area damage procs to make him drop a little faster. Basically, I'm just trying to stay far enough away that he can't hit me. That uh, I don't really have to worry about him. If you notice, I keep throwing out Pronado. And it doesn't really do too much. It's a little bit of extra damage. We're talking like on the order of maybe 10 million extra damage to him. But it's still something. It gets you, a little, gets you down a little faster. So now I'm just staying away. Every time I still harvest up, go back in. And lucky. I got a good Rift, I got a good Guardian, and it gave me rank 4 at the time. So, I hope you guys liked the video. If you can, drop me a comment, tell me what you think about the new series, tell me things I, that I can improve on for the next video. Uh, if you don't want to leave a comment, please rate the video, it helps me know whether or not you guys liked it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It'll keep you up to date on this series as well as any other videos I put out. Thanks for watching.